Well, hello there. I'm Elomatic. Welcome to my channel. And this is Be Castled. It's the demo because they recently decided to extend the demo until, you know, they don't they don't know when. Maybe even until early access is released, in which case they said they will take down the demo, but I wanted to check it out because I've seen other people including Raptor play this game and it looks it actually looks pretty cool. So it's a uh, kingdom building and tower defense kingdom defense kind of game. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to check it out. I wanted to interrupt your scheduled programming of Oxygen Not Included, if you've been watching that, to bring something a little new because I go a little bit crazy just doing the same thing over and over again. So yeah, I wanted to do something a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit different, a little new. So here we are, we got our little plot right here. If we look down here, choose a new site for the castle to begin building. So let's, uh, let's build what we're gonna do. So CV, I'm gonna use CV to rotate, it's a little bit uh, slower. So if we look around the map, we can see kind of some of the resources around us, which we're gonna have to take advantage of. I don't wanna build the castle too close to these wolves, dude, look at that. They are pretty intense, pretty intimidating. Hopefully we can avoid being, uh, you know, destroyed by these wolves. So I'm thinking maybe kind of cornered right here. Let's see, kind of facing the wolves. Maybe we can kind of defend ourselves a little bit. Plus we'll have this body of water here, which will be nice. So with the body of water, we should be able to actually fish. And then right beside that, we got a little plot that's uh, got some sheep on it. So we'll do some farming. We got some, some hunting grounds over here. All right, very nice. Now you, you can see down here, we're doing like, it's kind of got the, the tips, the tutorial when you're starting out to move around, all right, there we go. Uh, to rotate Q and E, and solar ones appear in the castle. They can be assigned by collecting, or to collecting resources or building. So I guess the solar ones are, are people? Like these people with the sun face, apparently. All right, glowing face. Now uh, we need wood, we recommend a sawmill. So let's put our sawmill down. I wonder if we put it kind of over here. I feel like if we get too close to those wolves, they're going to attack. And I don't want to risk that. So we're just going to put this sawmill right there. Keep kind of a distance between us and the wolves. You know, I kind of like the animation style of this game. I, I, I heard that it uh, it's, it's somewhat resembles like... Uh, what's that game? Fo Foundation? Yeah, Foundation. That I've had in my wish list for like a year and I still have not played. So if you guys want to see that, definitely let me know. I know it's like a pretty expansive game at this point, but I'm looking for new games to play that are like in this genre, you know, like city building and stuff like that. All right, let's see what else do we need to do. Uh, assign solar ones to chop. All right, we just, we can. Uh, it says to select them and hit that, but I'm just gonna select bam, right there. We're gonna assign two out of the three we have, just to get a collection of wood going. And hopefully these wolves don't come over here. I don't know if they'll cross over or if they stay. I'm assuming they kind of stay in there because uh, we got two little like wolves dens right here, and I'm, I'm thinking they just stay in their little uh, little plot. Hopefully, because I, I you know I think that's how it works. Why would you have the plots if they can just go willy nilly wherever they want? So we should be okay, so long as we don't have our solar ones cross over. And in fact, we might be able to use these guys to our advantage to defend our kingdom. So I don't want to do anything to like make them mad, you know what I mean? All right, we're gathering wood. We need more suns to rebuild the kingdom. So we need to build some houses. All right, very nice. Let's get some houses built. We'll put them kind of along this, uh, this, this edge over here. Kind of in a line, I guess. Let's do like two for now. So I'm gonna have them kind of facing, facing the castle a little bit. And I think these are kind of like randomly generate, so they'll look a little bit different than the previous one. Kind of give a variety. So we'll have kind of our courtyard here, which will be kind of nice. Let's see if they look the same or if it kind of randomizes. Yeah, this game's pretty cool, man. So it's like super simple. 
kind of fun. Oh, look, there it is different. This one's got like a little awning. And the, yeah, that's cool. I like that it kind of randomizes. It makes things look a little less uh, uniform. Sometimes it's kind of annoying whenever everything looks the exact same. It doesn't feel authentic, you know? All right, what do we got to do now? The number is getting bigger, but now we need to make sure they have food. Okay, yeah, we got to we got to uh, capture another cell with a food resource. So I think if we hover over, it should give us... Let's see. Yeah, so we could fish there. Uh, we can't... We, it has to be connected, so it has to be super close. Over here, we could hunt. This one also has wood, so that might not be a bad idea to continue gathering wood so we can build. Then we can capture this cell next. I think I'm, we're, we're going to go with this one to do some hunting. I wonder if you hunt these guys if they if it like regenerates or if it just depletes. I really have no idea, but we're going to have to put a uh, a hunter's hut down somewhere. Let's just put that right there. All right, sweet. Now you can see our uh, our overall kind of like land is expanding. Thank goodness because this is a very small piece of land to work with. I think we're going to end up expanding out this way because I want to get these two plots right here. But in the meantime, let's see what else we need to do. All right, they're still building this. So once we get that built, we should have a food resource ready to go. Oh, yeah, dude. This is going nicely. It's going swimmingly, if I might say so. We're just going to watch these guys continue to gather wood. I guess they automatically just cut the wood down, but... You can see the trees are already like planted to grow again, so that's kind of awesome. So we got seven people total now. Oh, I got to assign people. I forgot. So assign some hunters. That should give us the uh, the food. You know, provide the the food production. Let's kind of see them at an action. So they're bow hunting. It looks like. Is that what they're doing? Yep. Okay. So bow and arrows. Doing some hunting. Let's see. We should our, should see our food up here. So we got like a, a currency, our food, stone, wood, special resources. Oh, we can actually trade. That's pretty cool. Our population, our army, and then the mood. And then of course the day. And then I think this is the time until uh, we get attacked, which uh, it's paused right now. All right, now have homes and food. Keep up the good work. All right, sweet. Night is coming. That means uh, monsters will attack us. Moon monsters. So uh, we're provided with some warriors at the beginning. We got five. And uh, we can find out how long we have until the attack by hovering over this. So we got like about a minute. And the torches from... Okay, torches will tell you from which side to wait for the attack. So the blue torches indicate where we need to defend. All right, so if we look down here, I'm actually going to move this guy and this guy, the normal kind of citizen. Let's get them out of there. We don't want them to, to get hurt. Hey, don't. No, y'all y'all need to go. Go away. All right, whatever. Whatever, let's just... Uh, so it looks like they're going to attack from this entire side right here so let's just start moving these these soldiers these warriors over just have them kind of stay between these two torches all right nice i think they're in in position now right is that all of them yeah we got five and now we just wait so we got about five seconds we should see them we should say the enemies should get dark, a little bit ominous. All right, there we go. Oh, there they are. All right, we got four enemies against our five soldiers. Man, this game, I like how, I like the vibes, man. It's just nice and chill. It's early in the morning when I record. It's not too crazy. Oh, we're winning. Winning. These guys got ganked really quick. 
All right, very nice. We have succeeded in defending. It looks like each day the trees grow. That's pretty sweet. Okay. That's cool. Now, keep in mind, things might change because this is the demo. It's not even in early access yet, so things are going to change. There actually was a recent update to the demo, which is pretty awesome. I really like when devs are this generous, and they'll let you play the game. They'll, they'll give you the updates, show you what they're doing. That, uh, that really encourages me to want to buy it. So I think when this game comes out, I will actually make the purchase. But, uh, okay, we made it through the night. Further protection should, uh, you should train more warriors. Build a barrack and be prepare at least five archers for the next night. And remember to keep, uh, remember that keeping warriors consumes our sunstone. If it ends, the warriors begin to lose health. What? You can also build a tower at the side of the next attack or surround our castle with a wall. Alright, so let's see what we gotta do. The barracks we gotta, gotta build. Which, I feel like we don't have enough land. Can I, like, take some more land real quick? Let's see. Sunstone. This will take... Oh, this actually provides sunstone. Look at that. That's awesome. Okay, let's let's get that little piece of land. Then we can put the barracks over here. And I think it should be next to the castle. I think just right there should be fine. Can I move these, actually? Yeah, you can disassemble. And it actually, like, restores some resources, so that's kind of nice. We'll probably move this later, because it's going to be kind of in a weird position. Probably move it closer to the trees now that we got a little bit more land. We also have the sunstone right here. I want to see what do we do to actually gather that up. A stone quarry, probably. Oh, no, a sunstone workshop. Okay. Sweet. Well, we'll wait on that. We still got sunstone. We should be okay. All right, now we got this. So we can train more. Oh, archers, right? I gotta do... Which one is an archer? Swordsman, a knight with two-handed, and a... Okay, this one right here, right? I think. I think. We might have to build some more houses. So let's get another house over here. And then we probably need to build more land, like buy uh, some more land after this. We're doing all right on wood. I think maybe this fisherman's hut over here, 120 wood. All it costs is wood. So like, I'm not even worried about expanding at all. We just need more people. So let's put some houses kind of back to back right here. is going very well I'm very excited to have this happen so smoothly look at that we got our little neighborhood we can continue out this way with uh, the neighborhood like the actual houses uh, we could probably put a fisherman's hut here pretty soon so we got plenty of people now so let's see we got uh, zero archers I don't see any archers though a pikeman has a good attack range with stun enemies that's what we gotta do, right? Build a wall, build a tower, and five archers. Interesting. Uh, the rate at which our people spawn depends on the mood in the kingdom. The better it is, the faster they appear. Oh, our mood's kind of not great. Uh, is the population too high? What's that about? Well, let's add some, some workers to uh, the army, I guess. We actually... Oh, what did I just do? Put a flag down. To boost the mood, you can build a tavern and assign workers to it. You can also install a couple fountains or hero statues. Ooh, that sounds like a good idea. All right, where's the tavern? Right here. I think the tavern should be kind of a central location right here. Pretty close to the neighborhoods, right? That way everybody can make it home safely when they're feeling a little bit, uh, a little sloshed from all the, uh, ale. Man, this is chill. I really, like, the music and just the art style just makes you really feel like everything's okay. <laughs> I think I think it will be. You know what I mean? We got to, the mood's not great. The resident spawn rate's too high. I don't know what. I, I think this tavern will help quite a bit, actually. So let's assign some workers, right? And there we go. That, oh, that boosted the mood quite a bit. Very nice. 
All right, now we need archers again. And for some reason, it's not... Ha oh, an archery range. That's what we need. Okay. So this is going to also be right next to the castle. Because, you know, the military is the most... Exp or, yeah, our military is the most uh, important part of the kingdom. That's what keeps our kingdom standing strong against enemy forces. So, very nice. So we have eight soldiers so far, and now we can have a... Uh, now we'll have some archers. We'll get that done. And we need to actually look at the wall, too. So let's look at uh, fence, wood wall. How much wood does that actually take? 450. Hmm, let's take a look around. I kind of want to block off the wolves. That's going to take like 600 wood. That's going to take quite a bit. But that would actually protect the houses, which is kind of a good idea. Let's do walls like right there. I think that'll be kind of nice. Cause I don't want to. I don't want to disturb these guys like until we have to, I guess. But if we can leave them there and they'll kind of help us, we can just expand out this way. I think we'll be just fine. All right, the archery range is done. We can assign some to that. So let's see. Oh, we are short on workers. We need to build some more houses. I think. We'll just do like a couple. Oh. Well, we didn't do it before the wave. Actually, just wave eight, I think. And I, I don't know what wave we're on right now. Where are these people coming from? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Come over here. Yes, all of you. Hurry. Oh, crap. I didn't prepare. I didn't pay attention. Oh, no. This is not good. This is not good. Get over here. Help him. Help him. I, I, you know, this is bad. This is bad. We might already be doomed. Oh, we lost people. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are we going to be able to come back from this? We don't have any more soldiers. Oh, God. What are they going to do? I guess we'll find out right now, and we'll learn our lesson. Oh wait, they are—they all just fell. I think it's just because the uh, the wave is over. We got through the second night, but every night the moon will attack more and more. So, did we lose people? How did that work? Awaiting resurrection. So they actually respawn. That's kind of cool. All right, so now we are doing bad. We need—that <laughs> sucks. Okay, we got to make sure we got enough people. So let's build some houses. All right, every night the moon will attack more and more. So yeah, we need to. 40 arches is enough for us to hold this ground. That's a lot. Okay, we gotta get way more people, so we gotta grow. We have got to expand this colony. This kingdom. So let's put some more houses down. Just gotta pay attention to the mood. We'll get some more soldiers trained. Ooh, that sucks. Okay. I wonder, we should probably put uh, down uh, another one of these things right here, right? Another, uh, what was it? Sawmill. Let's put uh, the sawmill over here. There we go. Let's put two of them, and then we'll, we'll get rid of that other one. There, I think. Oh, we're out of sunstone. That's not good. So let's let our wood build up, and then we'll get the uh, the sunstone workshop. So we'll assign some workers to that, and to this one as well, because we got 23 people. There we go. Now we gotta hurry and make sure we get enough people trained. <laughs> Which we need sunstone. That's not good. All right, uh, sunstone workshop. So we can place this now, somewhere probably near the sunstone. Just put this thing. So, come on, where, where can I put this? Let's go. Let's go. I guess it's right there.
All right, I think we're doing okay now. We got. It looks like we got some uh, some guys spawned in. I guess I don't know. All right, we're already we're already kind of like struggling a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Struggling just a little. We used all our wood for those walls. Okay, let's get some people in the sunstone workshop. So we can start gathering, or, you know, increasing the sunstone supply. I don't know if it, like, regenerates. So the total income is 200 a minute. Army maintenance is 40 right now. I think, I'm, assu I'm assuming that goes up the more people we add. So we still got people. We can actually start adding, I think. Oh, no, we need more sunstone. So we got to wait a minute. Ah, oh, dude, this is stressful. It's already stressful. All right, let's look at uh, the defense again. Tower only requires a hundred. That's kind of, kind of nice. So let's put a tower there. And uh, yeah, let's just start with one tower, and then do another wall. About right there. Very nice. We'll just kind of slowly continue uh, expanding that wall, I guess. So we know that where they're gonna they're gonna attack right here. All right, our mood's not good again. Let's look at um, the fountain. Oh, we don't have enough stone for that. How about general? We can go to tavern. Uh, do we do another tavern, or how does that work? Happiness speeds up the arrival of new residents. I don't know, but we can uh, train another another one of these, maybe two. All right, sweet, sweet. Let's actually disassemble this right here. Sweet. All right, we're doing okay. So our food's doing somewhat okay. It's oh, we're actually consuming quite a bit of food. So we need to before it's too late. Let's do a, a fisherman's hut. Do that right there. All right, I kind of, I think I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. So where is our army at? All right, right here. I don't know if this is gonna be enough. Let's select all of them and have them come over here and get ready for a defense. And let's see, can I station somebody up here? Doesn't look like it. I can add a trebuchet for quite a bit of resources I don't really have. So, ah, we're, this is tough, man. This is tough. Let me do some more archers. Where are the archers, though? Oh, right here. Oh, no, those are hunters. All right, we got six alive. All right, there they are. Another recruit. All right, so they're they're there. Okay, very nice. Come over here with the with the others. Let's get ready for this this attack. We got a bunch of people just kind of chilling. So that might be why we're not doing great. But we need fishers, fishermen. Uh, everything else is doing all right. I think it's because they're all just like standing there without a job. But once we buy this plot of land right here, we'll have uh, we'll need them for that a stone quarry as well, which is going to be this plot right here. So we'll wait for a second. We could probably do like a market, maybe. I don't know. Let's keep looking. Let's keep looking around. Oh, it's time. Do I got them all over there? I don't know if we're going to be successful because this is going to be another pretty big attack, I think. Oh my goodness, dude. Damn. It, like, it's so quick. It, it just grows so quickly. I have way more archers than soldiers, apparently. The archers are doing pretty... Oh god, there's, they have a bunch. They have so many. How am I supposed to expand that quickly? 
Oh, I'm doing terribly at this game. All right, we've already failed. We have already lost. I didn't, so yeah, 40 archers, that's what I needed to do. I didn't expand fast enough, but uh, goodness, man. My goodness. All right, we're gonna have to try really hard this next time. They're just gonna freaking, they're gonna destroy this whole kingdom. We might be starting from scratch again. Wow. The sunstone thing, man. How's that? That's uh, that's what was limiting me. Now we just gotta watch them destroy all the hard work we've put in to this place. What a bunch of jerks. So the wolves haven't helped us on either one of these situations. That's a bummer, dude. Look at that. We only took out like a handful of them. Ah, this is depressing. I can't even speed up the time. Look at these jerks, man. Hey, I just built that. I just built, I literally just built that fisherman's hut and that tower. Wow. Wow. The health is just depleting. They're gonna destroy everything. That is not good. So I wonder if it's like, ah, this sucks. <laughs> ah, dude. I might have to start over. I don't know if I can save this kingdom now because the next freaking attack is gonna be giant. hurry up leave us alone I might just lose this might be like episode one might be the actual end of the game because I did not follow orders look I needed 40 archers before wave eight we're only on like wave freaking four no chance at all well now I know now I know it's way that it grows like so fast look at the enemy forces it went from like four to like 40 in like three waves. Yeah. I think, I'm assuming if they destroy the castle, we might just be done. Ah, dude. Well, that's, um, that's that. I'm gonna end that there, actually. I'm gonna slow the speed down a little bit. Well, that's episode one. I guess join me on the next video. Uh, we have many dead soldiers. You can resurrect them by building a church of light and sending a worker there. Oh, okay. We'll do that. But uh, on the next episode, let's see if we can rebuild this kingdom because we have a lot to do before the next wave. So let's hope that we can save this kingdom of Mellow Shire. I appreciate you watching. If you liked this video, make sure you actually hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.